Holy shit! Why is that animal girl couple so fucking cute? Hello? Oh yeah, overhaul is there too, I guess. Dude! Seeing the final boss slam into the main character is like- Are they about to fight right now? Like, it's neat. The encounter introduces Aerie. It gives Deku and Muriel motivational stakes, motivation for, you know, the fight at the end of the arc. But what if they fall right now, though? No, no, that's dumb. That's dumb. They would never do that. They they just clearly want to build up big, big tension for a big, big climactic battle at the end of the arc. But what if, though? Even Night Eye is like, No, Deku, you idiot. You can't just run at the bad guy. You are going to fuck up the pacing of the show. We have to wait at least five episodes. But, but what, what if, if though? though? Looking at this now, after seeing what Overall could do at the end of the arc, an impromptu battle here, in a busy city, in broad daylight, would have been fucking wild! I love how Deku never ever gives a shit about wearing his mask, ever. Mirio has to put on his dumb ass when he sees Overhaul, and then he just never wears it at any point during the invasion. Like, can we just delete the mask from the design already, please? This bit was great. Everyone was constantly thinking about what would be the best course of action. You could feel the difference in experience from Deku to Mirio, and then Deku to Night Eye. There was foreshadowing to the quirk deleting bullets, the mystery of Aerie, and the part that she plays, even if it's not a complicated one. Overhaul just schmelting a goon. There was just a lot of good here. <laughs> Something about Mineta just slapping Deku's desk, asking him, hey, where the horny women at? It got me feeling some type of way, man. I I don't know. The confrontation with Deku and All Might is very sweet, very heartwarming, has the nice speeches, fighting fate and the will to live and keep going, all that main character shit Deku is really, really good at. But what I like more is that it pushes this other side of the conversation about being such a cool, self-sacrificing person. What happens to the people who care about you? while you are doing all of this. This has slightly been touched on already with Deku and his mother. We see her visceral amount of worry and the small changes Deku has for his goals as a result. And now we see it again with Night Eye and All Might. The damage that All Might subjects himself to in order to deliver on his ideals, versus the person who can literally see where this path will lead him. It's nice. But once again, let's save that for another video. This was a very nice scene that feels like the natural evolution of these Deku All Might conversations, that hopefully they won't be flashing back to on a regular basis. They're totally gonna do that, oh my kidding. Good episode though, still a lot of setup but a lot of new stuff being established. Not dwelling on the past stuff we've already seen too much. We're getting there, slowly but surely.